What's up folks, it's your man Jay and I'm back again with another video. In this video, I wanna talk about the Samsung Galaxy Fold. A lot of times when phones come out, the hype is surrounding it, just like with the Pixel right now. It's everyone gets their time to shine. So the Galaxy Fold uh, is the device that's made the news in several different types of ways. Uh, but more importantly, I'm still interested in the Galaxy Fold. The only problem I have is the price. When that changes, I don't care when it changes, when it starts to decrease, you will see probably an influx of YouTube on the Galaxy Fold. The only people you see now with it, I've, saw, I've seen a couple of people with the device online. I've seen a couple of end users with the device online. Um, one guy, I forgot his name, uh, but he's, uh, he's definitely a regular user. He's not a, uh, a YouTuber at all, but he's, he's posted like three or four videos on it. I forgot his name. Uh, but uh, he's commented on some of my videos before too, but you know, he seems to really be enjoying this device. Um, I'm, I don't know if he finances through AT&T, but he does have it through AT&T. Uh, I thought the unlocked version would, would come out on October 8th, but I guess I was wrong about that. Cause I think I said that in another video cause that's the information that I got. Uh, but obviously there's no unlocked version um, uh, out uh, that I know of. Uh, there's just the AT&T versions. Uh, and um, in the U.S. that is. I'm in the U.S., so just keep that in mind. Uh, but I got to tell you, the device is still intriguing to me, and um, I'm interested in it, but not at the expense of $2,000. Uh, I want to experience this device because the reality is it's a part of tech, and I want to experience all the latest tech if I can. Now, I still have my Axon M, which is one of the world's first folding phones. While it's not as popular as the Axon, excuse me, as the Galaxy Fold, and not as powerful, uh, it's still a folding phone. So if you are trying to get into folding phones and you don't want to pay two grand, go that route, you know. Uh, it's not a powerhouse, even though it was a flagship phone. It, it, it had that flagship processor at the time. Uh, but we're in 2019 now, and that, that phone came out in 2017, I believe. So the Galaxy Fold is an intriguing device. The 7.3 inch display, um, you've got the uh, 12 gigs of RAM, the, the 4,235 milliamp hour battery, um, you know, the 512 gigs of storage, the great ca six cameras, I believe. So this phone has a bunch of knots. You know, it, it doesn't have an SD card. It doesn't have um, a water IP rating. It doesn't have pin support. It doesn't have all these things. You know, it has a small screen on the phone, but I've learned to try to step away from those uh, things that the phones don't have. Uh, and let's focus on some of the things it does have and see how it can affect us in our daily use. Now, the, again, the Galaxy Fold is selling online. I'm, I'm, if you see me looking right, I'm looking on, on, on the internet here. I wanted to check out like eBay or swap us. So, um, eBay, I've seen them on eBay for five grand and you, you, you <laughs> I don't call people a sucker, but why would you spend three, two, three times the cost just to get something? So now on eBay, I see them selling for roughly 2,500 brand new. There's people that are selling a whole bunch of them that are factory unlocked. Um, because it's the, it's the international version. Uh, and that's why uh, but 2500 for that phone is a lot of phone. That's that's a lot of money. Uh, so let's switch this to lowest uh, and see what it says here. So there are some selling for, um, here's one. I think I'm going to place a bid. Here's one. It's an AT&T version. It's unlocked. It's selling for $1,800, uh, but it's on a bid. So I'm going to put in $1,000, even though I know it's going to get outbid pretty quickly. These people would not allow this to go for 1,000, uh, but I wanna experience the phone. I wanna know what it's about. So currently, um, let's confirm the bid, as I bid here on a video. I'm the highest bidder and the current bid is uh, 843. Uh, so if you wanna fact check me on that, the item number is, you can go to this, you know, don't outbid me, you know, you do not really want this. Uh, let's see here if I can find the item number. Here it is. The item number ends in 1081. So on there, dang, I already got outbid. Good night, man. That was quick. Let me see if this thing outbid me. Somebody outbid me already. Okay, no, it refreshed and a little pop-up came up. So that's one. 
there are more on here uh, that are ending uh, soon. Uh, let's see here, Galaxy Fold screen refresh. I, I really am interested in the Galaxy Fold. Um, you know, I, I just think it's something that I want to experience. It's tech. I'm all about experiencing the latest tech, and I want to check it out. So, the the Galaxy Fold is a device that stands on its own. Uh, Samsung created the Galaxy Note line, uh, but they didn't create the folding line. But what they did was they put out their best effort at it for this first generation that they put out. Um, again, like I've stated in other videos, I'm only against it for the price and the small screen. As far as it not having a waterproof to, uh, this, uh, uh, shell, uh, IP rating, I'm okay with that because I have tons of phones that don't have IP ratings. But what I am a little concerned with is the plastic display. So again, there's a YouTuber out there. Uh, he's, oh, he's not a YouTuber. He's just a consumer. And he's been posting his um, footage uh, on, on uh, the Galaxy Fold as he goes along. He's only got like three or four videos up. But it's a real world test. I mean, uh, yeah, he's definitely, yeah, you'll see if you ever find him on. Just look up the Galaxy Fold and you'll see this guy. Uh, but um, I want to experience it. I'm not saying his reviews are not realistic, um, but I review phones. So, uh, and the best part about this guy, he says he's an iPhone guy. So that's pretty that's pretty intriguing that he's more interested in the Galaxy Fold right now. Uh, and he's also, he's an Apple person pretty much, but he's really enjoying the Fold. But for him, I could see why he's intrigued by the Fold because if you just use Apple products all the time, you don't know all the advantages to Android phones. Uh, but the Galaxy Fold is something that I think is very, very eclectic, and it's it just needs the right price. Um, pricing the Galaxy Fold at about a thousand or less, they would sell a lot of them, a bunch of them. So, at one point or another, when their when their stock drops because of that that device not selling, and they're talking about they want to sell five to six million of them to who? For $2,000 a piece? Not in the U.S. There are way too many options. And even in the U.S., their own devices appear to offer more. Quote, their own devices like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. To me, now, there's no appear about it. I feel even without even having the Fold, I wouldn't use the Fold. Um, but it's just, the Note is just a better, devi the better, smarter purchase than the Fold. However... From a tech technology standpoint and a, and a YouTuber standpoint, I have to get the Fold because I want to experience it. Uh, but not at the expense of financing them for $70 a month, not to, to get an account with AT&T, and not to pay two grand out front. I don't care how much money I have. I don't want to do either one of those. So we shall see as time passes on. I'll bid on one. I'll bid on some more if those start to run out and I don't get it. But a thousand bucks is my limit for this phone. This isn't the first time that I bid on a Galaxy Note or Galaxy Fold. Um, I just didn't win the others. They went well past a thousand, so I hit my limit. Anyway, it's your man Jay. I want to talk about the Galaxy Fold for just a little bit. Do you own the Galaxy Fold? I don't want to hear from people who got it as a review unit. I want to hear from people who actually went to the store and bought it or bought it on eBay or Swap or somewhere. You own it. Uh, you either financed it or you're you're financing it right now or you, you bought it full cost whichever i just want to hear from people that technically are not youtubers like that one cat and and i want to hear what your thoughts are on it it's your man jay i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next one take care